Hey Westies! Welcome back to my channel and today I'll be taking a look at Rainbow High Season 4 or rather the short clips and scenes that we can see and concoct some kind of theory slash story I have for the series. Without further ado, let's get into the sort of review. Anyway, my overlying theory for Rainbow High Season 4 is that it's all gonna be about Project Rainbow. Considering the word's already been leaked as a crucial part of the story, that's not really a big guess, but what Project Rainbow is and what that means for Rainbow High, Shadow High, and even Pacific Coast High is what I'll be explaining in this video. I am going to be searching through each piece and every little dot of evidence based on or at least the order in which I've seen everything and how my theory comes together. Let's get started with this short and quick and sweet commercial that we've seen. Now, um... As a Rainbow High fan who's watched all the seasons prior, this is not very exciting to me because we have the Rainbow High and Shadow High students smiling and in the background it's all like best friends and everyone's ha 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 and happy and sweet and happy-go-lucky and I feared that this was going to happen I had the feeling that they weren't going to stick with their rival thing and that they were just going to make the two schools like best friends or whatever out of nowhere. Considering we spent the entirety of the last season just fuming about how treacherous the rivalry between the two schools was, having them just come together out of nowhere feels forced rushed and perhaps an attempt at marketing? I am not very sure. But another thing that I find very interesting is the mentions of Project Rainbow. There's a consistent theme between this little infomercial slash animation clip that you can see here that will be in the next clip that I show you. At the very end, we see Monique and Delilah like holding hands and stuff behind this backdrop. Delilah's standing behind the thing that says Rainbow High and Monique standing behind the one that says Shadow High. This is also consistent in that clip we saw of Sunny and Luna. Once again, we have Sunny and Luna standing behind similar backdrops. Sunny standing behind a backdrop that's white and gold and has more light colors. And we see Luna standing behind a backdrop that has more dark and neon colors like black, gray, and a bit of neon highlights. Same with Sunny. What's really interesting about this clip is what's actually on the floor. On the floor, we also have this similar, if not for dramatic effect, um, segregated kind of line thing. But we can also faintly see gold words on the floor on both sides. Project Rainbow. Now, this is where my theory really comes into action. I think Project Rainbow is going to be the overlying big thing of the season. Let me explain. In Rainbow High Season 1, we had the runway show at the end of the semester. It's what was brought up constantly and constantly hammered in over your head about. I mean, there were several episodes leading up to the actual semester end and semester finale, and it was constantly referenced throughout the season. Season 2... I, I'm I'm really not sure what it was. I must have just forgotten. But for Rainbow High Season 3, it was Rainbow Vision. Even before the Rainbow Vision plotline had actually started, and we had just gotten into the first couple of episodes of Rainbow High Season 3, introducing the Shadow High characters, we still heard of Rainbow Vision. We heard the Shadow High characters talking about how taking over Rainbow Vision was their opportunity to get recognized and make Rainbow High realized, hey, we're not as weak and as puny and pathetic as you thought we were. 
And I feel like that was an interesting concept, but they were also kind of like shoved in the background and then forgotten for the sake of merchandising and advertising the Rainbow Vision dolls. But anyway, back to Rainbow High Season 4. I think Project Rainbow is going to be a massive runway project, even bigger than the one in Season 1. Because Season 1 was just the simple runway groups doing a big pro a project for the end of their semester i think this one will be more global like rainbow vision was and i think that's going to be very interesting i also think that shadow high and rainbow high are going to merge slash team up together this has been suggested by the many promo by all the promo we've seen of Rainbow High and Shadow High together. In the animation clip I just showed you earlier, they were all smiling and holding hands and being like, oh, best friends. And in this other clip, I know that Sunny and Luna are like sisters and this could just be a sister thing, but this is also kind of representing Rainbow High and Shadow High being together with Sunny and Luna, respectively. I also noticed that with Delilah and Monique in the other animation clip, there was also Delilah standing on the yellow slash rainbow high side and Monique on the shadow high slash purple side. We also see something similar here, which makes me think that there's going to be like segregation-ish kind of when the schools emerge like the two the two schools won't be very comfortable around each other they'll be kind of awkward and defensive i think they'll even color code the school maybe this one's more of a loose theory they might even color code the school like we see in this clip so that they don't just come together in a way I feel like that could definitely work for the story slash plot. Basically, to summarize my theories here, I think Project Rainbow is going to be this global televised runway project that Rainbow High and Shadow High are going to need to team up slash pair together to take down entirely. Now, the next theory I'm bringing up is the reality TV show theory. I've always had the theory that Rainbow High was secretly in-universe a TV show and that the characters knew that they were being watched in-universe, especially with the whole Skylar falling down clip that happened way back in Rainbow High Season 1. Yeah, only OGs will remember that. Anyway, the point is, I've always noticed some things that didn't make sense, like how content with Karma was able to report on our main characters without actually witnessing the event, which is what led me to believe that it was a TV show. But I also think that this Project Rainbow, Rainbow High, Shadow High team up will be recorded and documented as suggested in the Rainbow High Pink video. At the very end, and when I say very end, I mean like just very, very end of the Rainbow High Colors Pink video, we see a clip of Priscilla Perez, and she's talking to a camera with her name down below. This leads me to think that Project Rainbow will be documented. The way her name is shown is similar to Pacific Coast, which was a reality show, and also to other reality shows in the real world. Which leads me to believe that Rainbow High Project Rainbow will be documented by TV and cameras. This is also suggested by the flashy images we see of her. This isn't happening in real time that was especially recorded for the show. Which leads me to my final statement with in which I'm not completely certain of, that this first clip we might have seen may even have been an in-universe commercial for the televised Rainbow, no, Project Rainbow, Shadow High, Rainbow High team-up, and using the team-up as a way to market the project and the show. This last theory is very iffy, and I'm not fully sure about it, and I think I'm gonna leave it on that note. 
What are you guys' thoughts on my theories? And I hope to see you guys next time. I also want to know which characters will you think we'll be seeing in Rainbow High Season 4. My predictions is going to be Carla, Zoe, and Monique as, as they've already shown to be popular. And in a lot of doll commercials, they're also there as well. Um, and would you like me to make a video about which characters will be there? Let me know as well. And with that, I'll see you next time. Bye, Westie.